Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. In Kyungi Province, unregistered foreign workers and residents can voluntarily receive the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine without revealing their immigration status. With 76,000 doses available, the province has already vaccinated 13,000 such individuals. The voluntary vaccinations are available at public health centers and vaccination centers until September 18th. Reservations can be made by phone or in person. The Kyungi Public Facility Utilization Service an online search, reservation and payment system for the use of public facilities will be expanded to all 31 cities and counties of the province. This province-wide reservation system will integrate individual local government systems which, lacking online reservation services, require users to make reservations by phone or in person. Through the Kyungi Public Facility Utilization Service, members of the public can now reserve public facilities anywhere in the province instead of through individual systems operated by the province and provincial organizations. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to increase the limit of its anti-COVID-19 small business bank account support so as to promote COVID-19 impacted backstreet commerce. This program, the first of its kind among Korean autonomies, was launched by Kyungi Province in January to help small businesses in the province overcome difficulties they face during the pandemic by improving their capital turnover and liquidity. The province intends to enhance the effectiveness of this support by doubling the support limit from the current 10 million Korean won to 20 million Korean won per business. The Kyunggi-do Fire Services has developed a three-way video call system for individuals with hearing impairments that encompasses the Sign Language Connection Center. This system enables those with hearing impairments to use a sign language translation service through a three-way video call when they contact the Disaster Control Center via the 119 emergency number. In addition, this year's 119 Status Management Guidelines will include 10 sign language sentences most frequently used during emergency calls. Twelve privately operated intercity bus routes in Kyunggi Province were transitioned to public operation by the province with the first bus departing on September 1st. There are a total of 110 buses operating on these 12 routes that run through five cities, Guangmyeong, Yongin, Paju, Pyeongtaek, and Hwasong. All necessary procedures for this management transition have been completed, beginning with the transportation operator bid announcement made on June 23rd, followed by operator selection and preliminary route inspections. The Kyunggi Province Special Judicial Police for Fairness recently uncovered a number of new online loan sharking crimes. During a month-long investigation undertaken jointly with Kyunggi Southern and Northern Provincial Police Agencies from July 12th, a total of 23 loan sharks were apprehended, of which 12 were sent to prosecution, while the remaining 11 are still being investigated before prosecution. On September 1st, the 2021 Kyunggi Province Smart Industry Job Fair for Individuals with Disabilities opened online for a 10-day run. For this job fair, the province is actively promoting participation by smart industry enterprises so as to help increase the employment rate and create quality jobs for individuals with disabilities. A variety of services are available to those who visit this online job fair, including job matching and interviews, employment consultations, and resume preparation assistance. Those seeking employment can utilize these services via the job fair website until September 10th. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.